Let's try this. Free summon mage. So more of like a control based deck. What is the difference between this and uh, the other like uh, summon mages that you see a lot on leather? It's less minions and more like spell based. Uh, I don't want frostbolts in this deck actually, I think. Nah, frostbolts might be fine. Jaina versus Not sure about the frostbolts. None can escape my fury. But in this you match you're pretty good. It. You chat, ask for it. Says, what are the non-save legendary crafts from Rise of Shadows? Happy Noble Garden. Where are the eggs? Where are the eggs? Happy Noble Garden. What is a save craft, guys? That are what is like a card that gets a lot played? I like the Sun Reaver War Mage, even it doesn't really fit in the meta at the moment. Kind of hard to save with all these warriors around. Pass. I pass. I will cut the image size. No, image is pretty good actually. It works very well with Khadgar. It works well with Antonidas. It works well with Fargot. I like it. Thais, do you smoke? Nope, I don't smoke. Like, with this belt, you make your rogue match up better. Compared to the other belt. No Dread Corsairs, wow. And the great thing about this is like, you can still play Giant. It's not that like Giant is like bad in this deck. The great thing about this Giant is guys, what is he gonna do? Where did your Foul Plan Slayer go? He can sap it, but sap is not an answer. It's just a short term solution. Because you know it gets back on the board. Backstep of his SI, yeah, but that's pretty expensive. Like, look at this. It's pretty expensive, guys. He literally plays three cards, not one, not two, three cards to deal with it. It's pretty expensive. Unity, precision, perfection. What legendary is not that important in this deck, ties? Caligos, I think. Maybe Khadgar. Okay, he's gonna draw some Dread Corsairs. Does he have a side? That's dirty. This guy's a toast. Blood and plunder. Blood and plunder. So he has another weapon as well. We know that now. And one more pirate. Wow. I kind of don't like that I played my Zilliax there now almost, because that heal is actually important. I don't have more healing. The weakness of this deck is a little bit healing. Wait, this is not active. I don't have a 5 mana spell. But what I can do is, guys, I can use this, this, and then Frostbolt. Ah, uh, that had to go the other way, but it's fine. I gave myself the target again. So it doesn't hit my own face! Oh my god, it hits my own face again. Why does that always happen? This also plays around Leroy lethal. Because now Leroy isn't lethal, chat. You thought Leroy will be lethal, right? Well, now it isn't. Leroy ain't lethal. Yeah! It can be if he is lucky. But he won't. He won't be lucky. Trust me. Oh, he's going for it. He is going for it. Ha 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 ha! What did I tell you, chat? What did I tell you? Do you see my next level plays here, huh? Welcome in the stream. Where only on this stream you see these next level plays happening. Is that a set? I have to frostbolt face because he has another 
The problem is he has another weapon and he has green skin in the hand. So I need to frostbolt face to survive against the pick. What do I do for the rest? I wish I called Ray of Frost free phase, man. I hate that I can't Ray of Frost phase. Will it make it the card OP if it can freeze phase? Drink up the okay, I can go giant into into Conjure's calling. What can give me the seven eight taunt here? Sadly, can't combine it with Khadgar. Even two chat! So even a set doesn't do it. Finding my way out. The misplay will win you the game ties. Pock. So is it then a misplay or just a great play? Three mana, guys. Look at that. It's three mana. It's so cheap. Oh no. Don't get second sap. Don't get it. You don't get it. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I have lethal actually with the Sun Reaver War Mage. Don't tell him. Quickly. Wow, Ephys is a minion. He knew chat. He knew it! Man. Okay, we must build a wall. Wo told him chat. I wanna know now. Wo told him. What to do? What to do? <laughs> Star. A new Valore element. <laughs> I don't think he can do this though. <laughs> like is ain't gonna do it. <laughs> this oh, he doesn't have it anymore. Well Does he have double shadow step? <laughs> this well guy's oh, he got the damage like hey. I can't believe he played around that one, guys, because he had lethal. But now he goes for a random lethal with the leg hey. This guy knew. He goes for a random lethal there with the leg hey. Over um With that if this on the minion was very strange. Um I need a healing more. Don't think you need double frostbolt. We need heal. I think I want one apple bomb in this deck. That's what we need. Tess, what is good versus rogue besides warrior and shamans? They're like, I think you can smart rogue a little bit. Jaina versus Jaina. You asked for it. Oh, it is on. Oh, it is on, chat. It is on. It is on now. Only three left? Oh no. We need a new wave then. Happy Noble Garden. Happy Noble Garden. Happy Noble Garden, Jaina. Happy Noble Garden. So when can he play giant? If he passes, he can play giant on four. I can play giant on five. That's a problem. Yeah, I need doomsayer then. 
Well, that means he doesn't play Giant next turn, so I'm pretty happy about that. That makes me actually pretty happy, guys, this ooze. Because it means no Giant coming. Just a cute Drake. Do we play Giant ourselves here, though? It's kind of cheap way of Giant. But I think for us it makes a little sense. Like it blocks his turn 5 and he kind of has to ping then. I'm not gonna poly that. It's fine. Kind of meta with this double Conjurer's hand. But we can Conjurer's calling 5 drops maybe soon at turn 8. Like he still has to make... Ah, that trade is kind of fine for him. Next turn we can go War Mage to kill it off. I need to save Poli for Giant, guys. You save the Poli for Giant, okay? Okay? This deck is horrible, Thais. Thanks. Mm. I love you too. Oh, he doesn't know the War Mage. Mwahaha. This guy is pretty good, the War Mage. A new Valore Is Alex a must in his deck? I think it is. Alex feels pretty good in his deck. I make this ping here, guys, and you ask probably you want to probably ask why. Well, let me explain you. This trade can very often happen now. When that trade happens, it means that this minion will go to 3 HP. What I can do is I can go Zilliax, trade the 3 HP away, and then afterwards corn your scrolling the Zilliax. Here we go. Bam! And here we go. Ta da! Two five drops! What are these five drops? Oh man, they are really bad. Ugh. These are more like three drops. My calculations are flawless. And that's what he gets. So many plays. I can go Caligos next turn. I can go Image Doomsayer. How does he clear that well? We have like afterwards. Like I can go Caligos into Blizzard after. It's probably Image Doomsayer, right? Makes him kind of buzzy here. Like that's kind of the weakness of his mage deck. It doesn't play spells. It only plays like summon spells. So it's kind of weak towards... I guess you can like voodoo ping, but then it's not the greatest. Oh no. Oh. I forgot the created by Witch Doctor cards. Hmm. I can also go Giant Conjure Calling Freeze. I wonder. Decisions. I like this. Tess, are there some good 5 drops and not Zilliax? Depends on archetype. There are some good aggro 5 drops, some control. But not like such a flexible card as Zilliax. Depends for what deck you are like wanting a card for. I like Tess. Oh, thank you, what's up? I like having you here. Yeah, this deck is a bit better against what aggro compared to the other summon mage. But it might, it, it hurts you a bit more in control matchups.
fate of the world hangs in the balance. Kukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukuk